Look at this morning. It's foggy. It's cool out here tonight, today. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. It's, it feels like it's like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's like nine o'clock in the morning. This kind of weather right here is the reason why I really love California. I just thought about I left my hat in the car. But I really love California because I like the foggy weather, believe it or not. But we're again here. I love the bike. I know I come here quite a bit, but I enjoy it. It's a beautiful place, a nice place to just come and walk around and see some things and do some stuff and just get a good walk in. I really, really love this place. Uh, but this is where we're at. Sorry, I'm here again. <laughs> I love it. But anyway, welcome to another episode. E episode. What is episode? <laughs> Sometimes I get, you know, just tongue tied and twisted up or whatnot. And not to mention, I had another plan this morning, but that plan fell through. But anyway, anyway, let me finish the intro. Welcome to another episode of Wait, Have You Seen It? I am your host, Jacoby. I don't know why I'm leaning down like this, but anyway, it's okay. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know guys I've had a morning this morning and so I'm trying to uplift the spirits and put some smiles on, on my face and hopefully you guys can have a smile on your face so anyway let's get moving I'm trying to look for a a, a catchphrase like the guy uh, the, the Daily Woo uh, Adam Nawoo does he always goes uh, so join me shall you I love that it's amazing so I'm trying to find me one so let's see join me Okay? Nah, I don't like that. Join me. Today? No, don't like that either. Um, let's get moving. I'm down here in Long Beach. I need, I need to go get my fishing poles. I wouldn't mind doing that. I have my fishing poles in the car. I keep them in the car all the time. Um, you can't fish right here, but you can fish off the pier over that way. I'll, I'll try to walk over that way. But look at this. I'm all that in there. I think that's either dirt or oil that's gross but for those that don't know long beach is a harbor right here well not long beach itself but i guess you can say that but anyway this is the harbor the the pike area there's a lot of boats over here i'm sure if you watch my channel before you already know that but you can catch the those boats over there are the whale watching boats the two big ones right here back to back they're the whale watching boats you gotta love it I, mean, I really love this place this is such a beautiful place if i can live down here i would but it's expensive it's expensive but it's expensive everywhere in california but if i was gonna pay a lot of money it would be somewhere like this we're gonna go over here to the lighthouse we always go over to the lighthouse but we're gonna do it anyway i don't know what the boat is saying but let's keep going that's what this is. Looks like a fishing charter boat right there. Gonna go out and catch some fish. I have not been out on a charter boat in a long time. Last time I went out, I get really, really seasick. Last time I went out, I threw up big time. Back at home, I threw it all over the boat. I don't this jacket with a pocket in the front. And let's just say I saved a little bit of it. <laughs> Yeah, those, those, those things are pretty cool too. I wouldn't mind doing another one, but I have to find some seasick medicine that actually works. That did not work for me at all. But uh, going out. I'm surprised they're going out so late. Normally the, the boats go out really early. But it's still cool. But I really like it. It's an actual real... Um, what do you call it? Anchor. I think it's huge. It is amazingly huge. Just taking off. I like that thing right there too. It's kind of telling a story um, of this area or whatnot. But I think it's really cool. I, I'm, it's a sculpture. I don't know exactly what it's called. Uh, and we're not going to go over there right now. But <laughs> I still like Because we've shown it in, in videos before. Uh, but I ain't going to lie to you. I don't remember what it's called. absolutely gorgeous the bridge lights up at night and it is so pretty 
It really is. I love it. I think we're going to walk that way. I've actually, I've actually never walked that way. So we're going to walk that way today. But uh, right here, you can fish off of any of these, these. Here in California, I don't know how it is anywhere else. I'm just saying what I know about here in California. But ooh, almost fell. <laughs> but here in California, you can, you can fish off of any fixed structure. Any fixed structure. So if it's jets out into the water like that, you can fish off of it. You can fish off the rocks right here. You can fish off of any fixed structure, fi uh, fixed structure that uh, without without a uh, license. Gotta love it. Let's go. This is a end I've never been on. Check that out. I guess you can call it like a lagoon, but look at the cranes in there. I forgot the lady just right now. She was looking at the birds, and she told me what kind of bird those are. But I don't remember what she said. But she was out here bird watching with her binoculars on and everything. And it's pretty cool there. They look like not swans, but geese maybe. But I don't know. It's still pretty cool. I've never been down to this end. It goes, you know, you can keep walking that way. But that's a little further than I want to walk because I got to walk back towards the car as well, which is all the way back over that way. So we're going to keep going. But that's the harbor over there. And over there. And is the bridge where you go to San Pedro, which is one of my favorite, favorite places. I'm actually kind of contemplating if I want to drive over there and get a sandwich from Busy Bees. You know, make that lunch. But, I don't know. Because I got plans of maybe firing up my barbecue pit today. So, we'll see. You know, I don't think about coming over here to just walk as much as I, I should. But the walking path it's amazing. I mean, it's really, really long. You know, if you go that way, you get to the end of it, and which is the the lighthouse at the end. You just walk around the lighthouse and come back. And if you do it, you can come back around here. And you could walk, uh, run all the way around here, or walk whatever you want to do, and come this way. But if you go up that hill right there, which is there, are some stairs over there. Uh, that's where the little lagoon where, I, where the birds are and all that. They're over in that area, but the path actually keeps going even further. I don't know exactly where it goes because I'm not really in the mood to walk that far because I've walked pretty far already as it is. And uh, remember, when you walk somewhere, you gotta remember you gotta walk back to where you're going, back to your car. So I'm just like, I'm not gonna walk that far. But look at the birds again. The cranes, storks, whatever you wanna call it. I have no clue what they are, but they're everywhere. They're over here chilling. Can you see that mural over there, the, the painting of this person? Uh, I have no clue what it is, who it is, how it got over there, uh, but that is cool. Now that's the kind of, of uh, um, graffiti that I like. I'm assuming that it was commissioned, but still, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it looks really, really nice. It's an amazing uh, painting. I wish I was in a boat right now. I would definitely get up close to it and take some good photos of it. But that is amazing. Look at people walking across that bridge. That bridge right there, you could take that bridge over and it empties out right in front of that um, hotel there, which is a beautiful hotel. I've actually stayed in that hotel before. It's beautiful. But if you keep going across, keep going across, there's the Queen Mary. Of course, we all love the Queen Mary. And there's a... a um, a cruise ship there and there's a uh, I don't know if that's an oil tanker or if it's just a cargo ship but I'm not sure but it's over there as well but you see that dome right next to the um, Queen Mary that dome right there is where Howard Hughes uh, housed his all wooden plane called the Spruce Goose it was housed right there in that dome Right here in this harbor is where he made that flight. They didn't think he was going to be able to do it. And right here in that, in that harbor, he took off. 
He only flew it that one time and it flew about, I think it said about 25 feet in the air, something like that. Uh, for about 12 minutes, it flew. And he only wanted to do that to prove that he could do it because by the time, uh, this, this clip is pretty long, but by the time he, he got commissioned to do it because it was like World War II, I believe it was. And so they were conserving metal and stuff like that. So he said that he could build a, a, a plane out of wood. And so he did, but it took him so long to build this plane that the war was over. And so they started trying to get their money back or they, they were calling themselves, I guess they, you could say they were um, suing him, I guess. You know, that's, this is the stuff coming off the top of my head because I didn't do the research right now. I just know the story. And so he, they took him to court and everything. And so he had to prove that he didn't waste their money. So he had to prove to them that it could actually fly. But again, by the time it was, it's a tra it was a transport plane is what it was. And so he was trying to show them they could do it out of wood. But by the, again, by the time uh, he, he got it finished, the war was over. And so he had to prove to them that he didn't waste the, their money. So he got right out here. In this part. I don't know if it's right here. I'm assuming that it's, it has to be a little bit further out, you know, closer to the ocean, I guess. But right here in this harbor, he flew it. And But again, back then, it just was like the late 40s or something like that, right around that time. So a lot of this stuff wasn't here. But, you know, he flew it right here in this harbor, 12 minutes, about 25 feet off the ground. And they left him alone because he proved that it could happen. And when, once that happened, they moved it into that dome over there. And that's where it's set for like 12 years, I believe, something like that. It's set for a long time. But now they moved it and it's actually in Oregon somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it's at, but it's in Oregon. And that sucks because I would love to see it. I've been to Oregon once. I've been to Portland, uh, which I would love to go back again, which will be one of these, these videos sometime in the future. I'm not quite sure when, but it will be sometime in the future. And uh, we'll try to find the spruce goose and I'll try to put it on camera one of these days. But uh, I thought that was a, a fantastic story. I've always, I'm, if you don't know me, I'm, I'm into history. I love history. And so um, that's just one of the stories that happened right here in Long Beach that I just love. I think it's am amazing to me when you get places like Long Beach and you see the stuff that's going on and the things around and you don't realize how much history is in these places. And I think that's the reason why I love uh, California so much is because there's so much history here in California. But uh, this clip has been way longer than I expected it to be. And so I'm gonna stop this clip right now. We're gonna go to the next one. <laughs> Check it out. The Catalina Express. It's a beautiful boat. And he said, I've been on it once before. It's pretty cool. I enjoy it. You can buy lunch and stuff like that on there. I mean, it's, it's a at least a two and a half hour drive, I think. Oh, a drive, a boat ride. Yeah, look at all those people waiting to go. Again, we're gonna do it soon. We will do it soon. All right, let's go. It's another look at it. Look, we're right up under the bridge. Birds flying. Right there is um, the aquarium. That building right there, that's the back side of the aquarium. Which is another place I keep saying I'm gonna go and we will go one day. One day, but I've seen, I think the reason why I don't go, or I haven't went yet, is because I've been there so many times. And so I'm just trying to get my mindset like let's go to the aquarium <laughs> but it's still a pretty cool place but we're, we will go in there one day it's called the pike outlet again we've been here many times but this guy's trying to sell some food here but he just walked away <laughs> he's like hold on a second i got polish hot, hot, hot sausages and hot dogs and burgers hold on a second just walked away <laughs> but he got some other stuff set up over here going on but Cinemark up there I like that 
theater. I've been there a couple of times. That's a pretty nice theater. They got new Ghost Gym over here. The Pike Outlets. Hyatt. I've stayed at that hotel before as well. It's a nice hotel. She's making churros. No, not churros. Churros. How you ever say? You gotta roll them arse. Churros. And there's the Ferris wheel. This place is great. I, I, I love this place. It's, it's amazing. Let me go deeper in here and see what's in right there. I've been to that place a couple times. It's actually really nice on the inside. I've been there for a few events. And it's one of my favorite convention centers. I think it's better than the convention center down uh, in LA, downtown. I love it. Up that way. This is Ocean Boulevard, no, Pine Boulevard right here. And there's a lot of stuff up that way as well. Uh, I doubt we're gonna go up there and walk around because I'm getting to the point where I'm a little hungry. We gotta get some vittles in my belly because I'm hungry. But let's keep going this way. Hyatt Regency, I've, sunk, I've shown that place before. I've stayed there many times and that place is magnificent. I love that place. Uh, next time I stay there, I'll do like a, a room tour of it, but I, I love that place. It's been a minute, but I love it. And Eagles is a laugh factory right here. Laugh factory is great. I've been here a couple of times, so I actually saw Martin Lawrence one time here. And I was here to see some other people. You know, it was just one of those random days when I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna go see some stand-up comedy. And I go in there and there was some just random guys in there doing their thing. I don't call them random guys, but just guys you wouldn't recognize. They were in doing their thing and all of a sudden, Martin Lawrence jumps up on the stage and does his thing. I thought that was pretty amazing because I'd never seen the Martin live before, but that was amazing. He was just as funny as always. And uh, I thought it was great. But yeah, somebody, everybody has performed in that place right there. Gotta love it. Yeah, that's the Laugh Factory. It's available. Live comedy. Laugh Factory Long Beach. You gotta love it. I love this place. It's really nice. And these are some of the people who performed here. Now, with that said, disclaimer, I don't know if they specifically form, performed here or was it at the original Laugh Factory? Because I'm sure they all have done it, but this particular one, not so much sure. But yeah, all the people here, gotta love it. There was one night that Eddie Murphy got up there and performed, but it was one of the nights I wasn't there and saw it on the news, <laughs> but it's cool. Anyway, let's keep going. There's the Ferris wheel. You know, I don't like being up in the air. I don't really care too much for Ferris wheels. But I have been on this Ferris wheel before. And this one I would go on. It's not too bad. I, I've actually been on this one. If, if you know me, you know I'm afraid of heights. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm definitely afraid of heights. Of heights. But this one, I don't mind uh, much, so much. And then there's another one out in Irvine that's a little bigger than this one. I've been on it as well. And I, I kind of like that one too. Um, but that's about it, really. But in here is the merry-go-round slash um, uh, carousel. Now, I finally know what's the difference. There is absolutely no difference. Uh, carousel and merry-go-round means exactly the same thing. Um, I was told that the Europeans call it a carousel and normally it goes counterclockwise where ours, ours go clockwise. And that's really the gist of the difference. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can see it. But that's the gist of the difference. I've always been kind of concerned and you know, kind of confused on the two, but uh, apparently the two are the same. There's nothing different about it. But I like Mary Wilhelms and Kara says, I think they're actually pretty cool. I love them. I love the one in, um, in uh, Santa Monica. That one's beautiful. I've never written it, but I, I think it's amazing. But that's the gist of it. Look at that shot. We're on the bridge, crossing over. I like this bridge because the bridge looks like a roller coaster. 
and it lights up at night as well so when you come in here at night this area looks beautiful at night it really does it's a lovely area to come we may come back out here later on today but look at that shot right there absolutely gorgeous and i believe this is where we're going to end the video at. i want to thank you all for joining me on another episode of we have you seen this i have been your host jacoby i really do appreciate you guys for watching these videos for indulging me in this nonsense of just out and about pointing the camera because it takes a lot for me to get out the house i'm an extreme introvert and it takes a lot for me to get out the house and i i do um i do battle with depression to a certain extent uh, and so getting out the house helps me and to see you guys are steady watching the videos help me decide to get out and watch the get out and make these videos so i want to thank you guys so much i love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it don't worry about me i'm not in a depressed moment anymore i was this morning but i'm good uh but i thank you guys so much i love you love you love you and there's nothing you can do about it see you on the next episode it's not foggy anymore the sun is out and it's getting a little warm Let's go.